Hey, how you doing? This is Africans Arise. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. And also there's a Facebook page, which is Africans Arise Now. Uh, so go over to Facebook and like the Facebook page, please, and spread the word as well. You can also find Africans Arise on Twitter. And now in this video, I wanna talk about a very, a very brilliant young girl, young African-American girl called, what's her name? Michaela Ulmer. Now, in my recent videos, I've been talking a lot about black progress and black liberation and so forth. And, uh, you know, one, one of the things I've, I kind of have been trying to stress in my videos, generally speaking, is the importance of, uh, you know, really having a, having, a, having a proactive kind of can-do mentality. Now, I know a lot of people, a lot of... Uh, you know, progressive people don't like to hear that kind of stuff because they want to talk about the system, how the system oppresses and all this stuff and, you know, racism and oppression and so on and so forth. But, um, and, and they don't like, a lot of people don't like to talk about exceptional people. But I, I find that actually very fascinating. What is it that makes some people just, you know, more successful than others, basically, particularly when you're talking about people who haven't necessarily been, you know, born with a silver spoon in their mouth and so on and so forth. I'm talking about the ones who have, you know, gone from something average to something spectacular. What is it about these people that makes them who they are? I think there's a there's a there's an important conversation to be had here with regard to, you know, how we as individuals come into this world, not as blank slates, but as having a certain amount of innate ability or any uh, tendencies to lead us towards certain things. You know, it's fascinating. But anyway, let's read the story. This is in the, the UK newspaper called The Daily Telegraph. This is a story that was posted today, uh, midday on the 20, 31st of March, 2016. It says the 11 year old, entre 11 year old entrepreneur lands multi-million deal with Whole Foods to sell her homemade lemonade. Brilliant story this, I'm gonna read it in its entirety. It says, this 11 year old girl is probably more successful than you. <laughs> All right, cheers. Um, hopes, dreams, and hard work. Oh dear, hard work. I know a lot of leftists don't like to hear that, but you know, hopes, dreams, and hard work have, which started at a lemonade stand, have propelled Michaela Ulmer to incredible success. She has landed a multi million dollar deal with Whole Foods to sell her B Sweet lemonade in 55 of their. US stores. Uh, let's have a quick look at the website for B Suite. And there's a website here, nice tidy looking website. And uh, I'll, I'll, I, won't, I won't join the mailing list for now. But uh, the young entrepreneur uses the mint, flaxseed, and honey lemonade recipes she inherited from her great grandmother and gives a, proportion, gives a portion of her products to foundations that rescue bees. Brilliant. She became, she calls herself a bee ambassador and, for the f and first found fame with her product on ABC's Shark Tank, where she secured a $60,000 investment from the show. Michaela thought up the idea for the lemonade when she was just four years old. What the what? When, after she was stung twice, she investigated why they sting and was intrigued by their integral role in the ecosystem. So there's the bottles there of the uh, uh, bee sweet lemonade. Uh, made with a recipe from her grandmother. I didn't enjoy the bee stings at all. They scared me, she said in an interview with NBC. But then something strange happened. I became fascinated with bees. I learned all about what they do for me and our ecosystem. So then I thought, what if I make something that helps honeybees and uses my great granny Helen's recipe? Look at that, taking knowledge, you know, from within her family and using, applying it, you know, applying ingenuity, applying uh, tenacity, you know, it's, I mean, it's, this is a classic case of when life throws you lemons, you make lemonade, you know, she was bit by, I mean, stung by a bee, didn't enjoy this thing, and then she started learning about bees. Uh, carrying on, the entrepreneur took part in local competitions until she landed a place on Shark Tank. Since then, she served lemonade to Barack Obama, was a part of Google's Dare to Be Digital campa campaign, and has won several awards, including the African American Harvest Foundation Story Changer Award. There's a little girl in front of the White House there. 
And how does she have time to balance her schoolwork and her booming business? Quote, I work on the business after school, after I do my homework, and on weekends and during spring breaks, unquote. Ulmer told the NBC, there are not too many times when I feel stressed. <laughs> now, what a, I mean, brilliant story. Brilliant, simple story of how a young girl, a young African-American girl has you know, in the face of all of the, the, the pressures and uh, whatnot that um, that we talk about with regard to African people, black people in America, she has stepped up and made herself into a phenomenally successful young lady. At the age of 11, she's already supplying a nationwide, <laughs> a nationwide, uh, you know, chain of stores. So big ups to Malika, uh, sorry, Michaela Ulmer for this success. And, you know, I hope, I hope this story will encourage other young people as well. Just like in one of my previous videos, I talked about uh, Jamal Edwards, the guy who set up SBTV, uh, you know, another youngster who started when he's in his 20s, early 20s, and now has got, a, you know, a multi-million pound brand. Big ups to big ups to him as well. Big ups to all of the young people. If you're a young man, young boy, or young girl, young man, young woman, African or otherwise, you know, don't be scared to follow your dreams. Don't be scared to apply discipline, tenacity, hard work, uh, forward thinking. You know, to your idea. You know, you could have an idea that could land you being on the front page of this newspaper. You know, in the future. Now again. Some of you are probably going to have issue with this video. Some of you are going to say, well, no, this is just an exception. The system, the system doesn't allow African-Americans to be successful and so forth. And, you know, I'm sure there's some truth in that. So, you know, let's 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 hear some of your points, which you, you might have to say with regard to this. But I, I'm just saying that if we don't if we don't celebrate the successful people, if we don't promote the successful people, if we don't encourage people to, to, to go out on a limb and to, to try to break the mold, to try and be successful, you know, they're not going to be successful. You know, if if we surround our young people with, uh, I don't know, Chris Brown, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, uh, Bobby Schmurder or whatever, you know, yeah, we can surround them with, with uh, messages like that. And, you know, we cannot be surprised when they get, uh, you know, when they, when they throw that kind of behavior back at us. But if we surround them with people like Michaela, Ulmer, and, and others, young entrepreneurs, young business people, young, uh, young philanthropists, young, you know, young youngsters who are doing well and who are working hard, then I think that can have a, that can have a, a you know, a, a positive impact. Anyway, once again, thank you very much for watching. This is Africans Rise. Subscribe to the YouTube channel here. Just press subscribe there, or you can press subscribe under this video itself. I've got lots of videos on my YouTube channel here, which you can go through. I've got a playlist called Thought Provocation 101, which I'm building up slowly but surely with various videos that will probably offend you in some some parts, but it would also make you think, and hopefully you'll, you'll like some of these videos. Do like the videos if you like them, and share them if you like them. And also, don't forget to go to the YouTube, the sorry, the Facebook page, which is Africans Arise Now. Like the Facebook page. Encourage other people to like this Facebook page. Let me know your comments. Let me let me know your thoughts on this video. And I will see you next time.